Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Red Randomized Let's Lock. Um, we're going to get started here by trying to get through Route 4. Um, I won't... Eh, we could do a team recap real quick. We have... Exploder our Voltorb, who has a nice, nice speed uh, stat. Only knowing Tackle and Screech. We have Bubbles the Vaporeon. Knowing Tackle Sand Attack, Quick Attack, and Water Gun. And then our Fisherman, who will be re nicknaming Gordon later. Who that only knows confusion. Uh, let's see who is here. So we can fight him. Okay, fight you Okay. First fight. Hopefully we don't run into any more grass Pokemon, because last episode was ridiculous. Although bodying that Pikachu felt really, really nice. Alright, schoolboy wants to fight, sends out Flareon. Alright. Well. Bubbles will make short work of Flareon. Alright, Bubbles is going to easily live the tackle. And Water Gun straight to the Flareon. Doesn't one-shot, surprising. Luckily the Sand Attack missed, but our Bubble missed anyway. Now we see Ember. So that Jolteon that Blue had earlier actually did have Thundershock and would have two-hit killed us at level 5 for our first battle. Luckily he should not have that again. No one leveled up. And we got a Shouter! Uh, Fisherman. Too bad he can't become a Slowbro, but... We live with what we got here, so... Confusion is... Gonna do way more damage than this tackle does. So we just gotta grind through some damage. Although, Withdraw is a very interesting choice, since in this gen... Um, defense is the same stat, regardless. So... Alright, let's keep moving. We'll battle her first. And the gent wants to fight again. Kabuto. I think probably only has Scratch. Let's Screech it. Uh, we failed the Screech, and it does have Scratch. We'll Screech it again. Defense sharply fell. Here comes another Scratch. Tackle's doing nothing. Alright, we're switching out. We're going to bring in Bubbles. Oh, now it's starting to harden. We're going to quick attack it. Let's see how much physical does. Well, it'd be the same regardless due to the stats. Uh, water Gun. I believe this is a Rock type, so that should do a, yeah, a nice amount. Apparently it's also a Water type. Uh, no one leveling up. Horsey. Send back in Voltor, and then immediately switch it out to go into uh, Fisherman here. Slowpoke. Should be able to eat up whatever this horsey has. Yeah. And this route has a capture we can try and go for, or we will get this episode. Um, assuming we get through all these trainers without too much issue and without too much backtracking, but this will allow us to get some nice um, level ups here, hopefully. Uh, Exploder grew to level 12, and Fisherman didn't level up, but that's fine. Uh, we're gonna run back. No, you know what? We'll fight this guy. Probably not 
a hundred percent worth fighting him yet, but we'll do it anyway. Uh, let's see what he's got. He's got four Pokemon, Ace Trainer, has Raichu! Uh, that's really, really bad. Look, we were kidding about the Pikachu earlier, I apologize. Hopefully, okay, Thunder Wave is not good, but it's not bad. We're going to start the same. I hope it has Thunder Shock. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, Thunder Shock doesn't do a lot. We're going to keep Sand attacking. As long as we break through the paralysis, we should be able to kill it before it has a chance to kill us. Okay, I think four drops should be enough. Why water gun? I don't know. I wasn't thinking. I just clicked the button. Um, it is our strongest move, so I guess it does make sense. Here comes another oh, shock. Uh, maybe we should have healed. Uh, Exploder getting a lot of experience. Bubbles leveling up. Very nice. Neater out. We're going to have to stay in. Um, I don't want to be switching around right now since everyone's kind of damaged. Nidoran gets one shot by the water gun. That's nice to see. Uh, Magmar. Magmar will get one shot with the water gun as well. All these level 9 because originally this trainer is a uh, bug catcher. Which is nice and useful. I would hate to see a stronger Raichu than the one we did fight. Um, and Slowpoke. Do we switch into our Slowpoke? No, I don't think so. At least not immediately. Let's water gun the Slowpoke. We're going to take a lot of damage, but we will get out if we get... If we do get confused, although fully paralyzed is not good. Okay, this thing's just chipping away at us. That's not good. Alright, water gun coming through. That does a lot of damage. Let's try another one. And even if we get... Crit, we should be fine. Um, Alright, this little poke's almost dead. We're gonna switch into Fisherman, who should resist this a little bit better than um, Bubbles does. Yeah. And we'll confuse it back. And yeah, that was a crit. So we're, get, we're gonna go back and heal. Because um, we really do need the HP, and getting rid of paralysis for free is nice. Um, we'll probably check our shop and see if we can get a Paralysis heal. Um, just because when we get to Mount Moon, we don't want to have to be running back all the time. Uh, would allow us to do some... Ooh, we'll buy one Awakening. You never know. And one Paralysis heal. Uh, escape ropes a lot. We're not going to buy any Pokeballs, I believe. Let's check. Yeah, we have 13 Pokeballs. That should be enough for three captures, hopefully. And we're going to come back and heal. When we go and fight some more trainers, try and get some more levels. Um, with Bubbles being really, really high level, I feel more confident, at least about Misty. Um, not sure how I feel about the whole... Mount Moon run with Pokemon that don't really have any levels, but we're actually pretty decently leveled for Mount Moon, I believe. Um, at least in comparison to the original game. Not sure how we would fare in, of course, this Nuzlocke, because there's no way to know. No way to know. Alright, well, we see our grass. We got, I think, three more battles. This guy's getting after us because we're not wearing shorts. Uh, let's see what he's got. Schoolboy wants to fight. Sends out Kaflari. Kaflari. Well, Exploder is going to get right back out out here. Go back into Bubbles. We need to keep switch training Exploder. I think he gets Sonic Boom at 18. And that's what we want. We're going to water gun this Kaflari. It's actually going to live a lot. Uh, that thing is not nice to see. But if necessary, we go into Slowpoke and then figure out from there. Bubble's taking a lot of damage. Maybe we shouldn't be switch training and train up in the grass in a bit, but 
We do need to train regardless, and I would like to train a bit now, since we have to do these battles anyway. Um, Alright, and we could go around some people, but we're eventually going to fight everyone on camera, so... Okay, yes, we will fight your new Pokémon. Let's see what this guy's got. Ace Trainer. Another Raichu! That's not good. Go for the Screech. Thundershock's gonna do a semi- Yeah, a pretty decent- Well, it's a crit, so... Maybe not a lot, a lot. Let's see if Exploder can take on this Raichu. Not getting growled, he won't. Let's Screech it again. Try and lower those defenses. Okay. We could still teach Exploder... Oh, that's right, I can get paralyzed this gen. Um, could still give Exploder here Fire Spin, which is naturally by that Brock gives us. Um, but since it's randomized, of course, it became Fire Spin. Which is a very good move since we're having a lot of issues with... Well, Electric and Grass. Exploder's now at 13. We're seeing another shelter, so I wonder if these guys have the same Pokemon by chance, or if everyone in this route that has two Pokemon and is one of them, uh, Bugcatcher of course, has a shelter and a right shoot. I believe that's our last bug Bugcatcher, but I could be wrong. Nice crit. We will quick attack again for that priority kill. Don't want to take any more damage. Alright, and let's see what our first encounter is. Mobile grew to 18. We'll probably switch in a slowpoke. He can eat just about everything. <coughs> Excuse me. And let's see what we get. Alright. First encounter is... Our buddy Mewtwo is back. A level 8 Mewtwo that has confusion and pretty high stats given how much damage that did. And now Fisherman is confused, but we hit Mewtwo. Ah, uh, this is an intro. Oh. Do I struggle? Since, um. No. Oh, I struggle if I hit it again? No. Okay, I don't know how we struggle in the Shen, but that's fine. Let's go to Bubbles. Mewtwo disables. Tackle. Well, that's a little annoying, but we'll stand attack. We want to start weakening it. So we know it has Confusion Disable. Confusion and Disable. And Psychic. That's a little scary. That did a lot. Okay, we're gonna spam sand attack again, because that seems to be our winning strategy against these damn Pokemon. Psychic still breaks through after four accuracy drops. Well, our special did fall. Let's quick attack it. That did a lot. Let's try a Pokeball? I don't think we're gonna catch. Nope. We do have an Ultra Ball. That is something to remember. Uh, I think we go back into Fisherman knowing that it's resisted. Hoping he survives the Psychic and he missed. Good. We go for the Confusion against Mewtwo's Confusion. Yeah, we're not doing anything. We can chip away. It has Swift as well, which gets past every accuracy drop. Gotta be careful. No one lose Fisherman, even though Mewtwo would be way better. We're going to throw another Pokeball. Nope, we're still missing it. Don't disable our only move. That would not be fun. Psychic miss. Okay, good. Let's chip away. Disable missed. Okay. A little bit more. Confusion miss. All right, we're living. We're living. We're going to go one, one more. Oh, confusion. Seven damage, and that's resisted. That's ridiculous. All right, we're going back into bubbles. All right, I would like Mewtwo. I really would. I won't lie. 
that was a crit, nine damage. Okay, we should be able to survive another. We're gonna throw a Pokeball. Those are gonna keep missing. I think we have to go. We're gonna burn a potion here. I wanna try and get this guy. I don't think we're gonna. We have to go for the Ultra Ball. Will we catch Mewtwo? That's a good question. Nope, we missed. All right, well, we're getting a lot of experience, that's for sure. That's a little annoying. We will go heal. Um, Mewtwo did way more work than I wanted him to. Fisherman grew, grows to level 13. And yeah, well, that's our encounter here. We got Mount Moon's in capture, er, encounter that we could capture. And it looks more and more likely we, that that magic carp that we will not be getting since it is randomized could be extremely useful. Um, don't know how we're going to do that. I mean, running into two legendary Pokemons as two of our possible captures is not fun. But no one died. Although, level 8 Mewtwo could have put in a lot of work with that psychic. Alright. Let's try to get to Mount Moon. Try and get a capture there. I also used my Ultra Ball, which was not good, but I did what I had to do. I don't feel completely bad about it, but I don't feel great about it either. Alright. Uh, do we fight this trainer now? I mean, we are at... We have a lot of time. Yeah, let's go. Alright. No, I did not touch you. I'm not even close to you. Well, I guess I am in front of you, but that's not the point. Gent wants to fight. Gent has a Diglett. Level 14. We need to start training. Um, we'll probably do that next video, apparently. Um, Bubbles with that nice level 18. Should be able to take whatever Diglett has and annihilate it with hopefully one water gun, maybe two. Nope. One water gun did it. Alright, super effective. Take their faints. And we defeated the gent. That's it? Yep, that's it. Thanks for the money. Alright, moving right along. We're gonna get to Mount Moon. I'm a little bit bummed about that Mewtwo. Uh, this guy wants to take a rest. Yeah, Tunnel to Cerulean. That is exactly where we're going. And we're just gonna continue north. I believe there's an item over here, and if it's a Master Ball, I'm gonna be upset. Uh, I don't, I don't know where it is. Maybe I'm just imagining it. Tripped over a rocky Pokemon Geo, dude. Uh, well, it's possible we run into Geo, dude. All right, what do you got for me, man? I want that Pokemon. He's got a deal just for me. A Swell Magikarp for just 500. Maybe it's not randomized. Never mind. I got a Star Me. Why do we name Starmie? Uh, Starmie, Starmie, Starmie. Huh, you know what? That does work. We'll name it Ruby. I think the gem is red, if I remember correctly. Okay, so Starmie here, or Ruby here. It's a water psychic, so we got two of those. Level 5. Tackle, Water Gun, and Harden. Okay. Very interesting. I mean, we could still teach a flamethrower. We will heal, right? No, I don't see one. Oh, no, we're healed. Okay. We use one water gun. Alright, let's see what's in this cave. Alright. No Mewtwo, no Mew, no legendary Pokemons. Please. A Pokemon. Okay, there you go. Alright. Bellsprout. Well, it's a grass Pokemon. I can feel a little confidence saying, oh, well, Vine Whip's gonna do a lot. Vine Whip did a lot. Don't kill the Bell Sprout, please. Uh, Exploder, I guess. You have no defenses. This could be really bad. Gross. That's really bad. Alright, we need to catch this. Please. I want a gra grass Pokemon, please. Alright, Bell Sprout's ours. Well, that was easy. Um, what do we name Victory Bell? Because I'm assuming we can get a Victory Bell if Bell
spell sprout here doesn't die. It's the flower Pokemon. I have a name for it. A carnivorous Pokemon that traps and eats bugs. It uses its root feet to soak up needed moisture. Alright. Name for Bell Sprout. Since we have bubbles, we can name it Blossom, if I remember how to spell it. That's not close. Um, okay. You know what? It looks more like a buttercup, honestly. Will that fit? Unfortunately, there's no blossom in this game. Otherwise, I would love that. Oh, another encounter. It's an oddish. Well, there is vile plume in this game, speaking of blossom. I just realized this is terrifying. We need to lead with blossom in this cave, which is not very heartening. We're going to heal it, because apparently there's a crap ton of grass Pokemon. So, rocking five Pokemon, three of which are water, one grass, and one electric. Good news is, any ground or rock Pokemon are pretty much destroyed. Water Pokemon, if I could teach Voltor something, we'd be good. And let's see what's in here. TM41. TM41 is... Body Slam. No one's able to learn it. What is TM41 naturally? That's a good question. Licky Tongue. Alright. Go Buttercup. Only knows Fine Whip and Growth. That's actually pretty interesting. See, Mewtwo would have been great here. Mewtwo could have been our savior. But he wouldn't get caught. So, I'm not... I'm still a little upset, I'll be honest. But I'm not completely upset because we didn't waste all our Pokeballs. And we're stuck in rap here from Licky Tongue. Um, just gotta burn it off. Alright, Water Gun it. Should die. Bubbles here will be probably hitting 20 before we leave the area. Um, hopefully Buttercup gets pretty high too. This is an X speed. I think I have an X accuracy too. We could get rid of those. Suspicious men are in the cave. What about you? Well, I'm just walking through, but I guess we could battle. We'll probably be ending it soon. Kabutops. All right. We're switching out of Buttercup immediately, back into Bubbles. Who's getting the finest switch training, and we will be training after this video. Absorb. Oof, that's gonna do damage. Five, not bad. I think it rounds down, so they'd only get two. Still not fun to see, though. Doing five from scratch. I mean, Absorb is better, but not necessarily. Crit damage, Kabutops is dead. Buttercup is now at level 11. Dugong! Well, we do have a Buttercup. Ooh, wait, does this thing have a Roar Beam? Cause that's a nice move. Buttercup's not living it. I think, again, we have to switch back out into Bubble. Mm, yeah, Bubbles. Um, what levels do I train my Pokemon? I mean, I could get them like five under or three under bubbles here get them all to 15 it'll take a while but it might be necessary i need to see what bells or buttercup and um ruby get it does no aurora beam i feel better about that our attack is super low but luckily our special is actually doing damage we are getting hit that was a crit Alright. We're doing little by little, but we're getting it done. Alright, that's dead. Buttercup grew to 12. And we defeated the Ace Trainer. Alright. Against my better judgment, we will go find another battle and then one there. I'm waiting for her friends to find us. Oh, look, here's the battle. Alright. 
So we're gonna go heal after this and that's it. Uh, Gent wants to fight, sends out Weedle. Well, Weedle, I feel confident that we can destroy. Um, but we're still gonna go into Gord well, Gordon the Fisherman here, officially. And we're just gonna Psychic, er, Confusion. I wish I had Psychic. But I think that's 45 or something like that. And we basically kill it. I mean, Poison Sting's not gonna do anything to us unless we get poisoned. Which I didn't think about until now. Um, but we're close to the um, Pokemon Center, so it's fine. Alright, let's go heal. I'm gonna be training probably not in this cave. Given how many grass Pokemon there are. Speaking of grass Pokemon, hello, Oddish. I guess we could destroy this with Buttercup. We'll growth up on it. I don't remember if Vine Whip is special, though. I guess we could look it up, too. Oh, well, we're going for a double growth. We're getting greedy. Yeah, I was going to say, this thing only has Absorb, so it's not an issue. Let's see. Vine Whip. Yeah, I'm going to say Vine Whip is physical. Um, we're just going to run. I don't really have a move for this. Uh... Uh, we could have gone into Bulbator, technically. But I think that'll be it for the episode. I mean, we picked up two more Pokemon. Unfortunately, one of those is a water Pokemon. And we're just going to end it here. And I'll be doing some training in the next episode. Alright, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time.